We are receiving more and more reports of uh, shortages in medicines and pharmaceutical products in Syria. In fact, Syria was producing 90% of its medicines and drugs locally. Now, with the insecurity, uh, availability of raw materials, uh, increased fuel costs and sanctions, uh, this production is being uh, uh, slowed down. Health sector has been most affected, of course, in the uh, places where there was the most of the fighting. Uh, many hospitals and health centers have been closed, damaged or controlled by one of the parties to the conflict. Often these uh, health facilities that are still open are inaccessible due to ongoing violence and lack of public transportation. Uh, they are not even, uh, because of the incre increased cost of fuel, even taxis are not uh, apparently are running a lot, so people simply can't go to hospitals even if the, those hospitals are open. Uh, the impact of this situation, of course, is, uh, uh, is devastating for people who need drugs on a daily basis, people with chronic conditions, people with a mental health uh, situation and also for people who are on antibiotics to prevent infections uh, when being treated for, uh, for uh, uh, conflict-related injuries. We have sent food assistance for distribution to uh, 28,000 people in Aleppo over the next uh, few days to address the, the short shortages. And since the beginning of clashes in July, WFP has reached close to 46,000 people in Aleppo with urgent food assistance. It's true that funding is a problem. It's also through, uh, true that we, have, uh, we are working in a challenging situation in the cities where violence is occurring, and that makes our delivery of assistance sl uh, slower, I would say. Uh, but still, we reach people, and don't forget that the operation is going all over Syria. So, so within some places, there is absolutely no problem.